Nathan Drake hangs up his gun holster and vast collection of Henley shirts for the last time in Uncharted 4, we've been reflecting back on all the important things he's taught us about being a world-class adventurer. Spoiler warning, Uncharted 4 footage ahead. <laughs> The most important thing an adventurer needs isn't a passport full of forged visas or a military grade first aid kit. According to Drake's numerous outings, it's grip strength that'll get you through the vast majority of altercations. Sign up to your nearest bouldering class and get straight on the fingerboards. Working on your upper arm strength isn't just a recommended skill, it's a straight up requirement for the amount of time you'll spend in hanging off of things. And make sure not to skip leg day either, as the only activity to rival hanging off things will be jumping off things, usually crotch first. <coughs> Actually, just get really fit, but remember to be low-key and devastatingly charming about it, like Nathan is. And that means no asking your colleagues whether they'd like two tickets to see the gun show, for example. Speaking of guns, hope you like them, because you will be using them a lot. As much as you'd think the most vital tool for an adventure would be something boring like, I don't know, a fossil brush or a strip of water purification tablets, it's actually an arsenal to rival a small country. Handguns, shotguns, miniguns, machine guns, assault rifles, sniper rifles, grenade launchers and explosives, there are few problems in the life of an adventurer that can't be solved with the proper application of bullets. Well, what else are you going to do when the bad guys are forever following you into ancient underground temples? Hand everything over without a fight? That's not how an adventurer makes money. Actually, how does an adventurer make money? Well, you, you just take a legally gotten treasure that should by all rights belong to its country of origin, smuggle it back into your own neck of the woods, and then you sell it on the black market, obviously. Or you would if you ever managed to get your hands on anything of actual value. Arnate has had a poor run of luck though, what with all the airborne zombie viruses, giant sapphires turning out to be big clumps of explosive tree sap, or entire cities filled with priceless treasure just plain sinking into the desert. Getting rich quick schemes are never as easy as they first seem, are they? But even when Nate does manage to bring back a souvenir or two, does he profit? Hell no. He keeps important cultural and historical artifacts where they're needed most, in his upstairs office. Treasures so special he puts them where not even his wife can appreciate them. That belongs in an attic? Wait, that's not how the quote goes. So uh, another important tip for being an adventurer, start a savings account. It looks like you're going to need it. All the money in the world won't help you with this next tip though, which is to always always have a quip handy. Forget deciphering long forgotten texts or the odd game of ancient Sudoku, comedy under high pressure is the skill every adventurer should have at the top of their CV. Have you had enough? Or do you want to keep being a smart ass? Well, you know, being a smart ass has gotten me this far in life. As charismatic mass murderers of the past like James Bond, Lara Croft and Indiana Jones have taught us, nothing will defuse a tense situation like, I don't know, killing someone quite as fast as a pithy one-liner. You can get away with anything basically, murder, theft, GBH, the destruction of an entire city, so long as you're cool about it. Really? Okay, but yeah, Nathan Drake is actually really smart, otherwise he'd never be able to figure out all those really old puzzles by himself. Or mostly by himself, I mean, as he does do the modern day equivalent of cheating on a pub quiz in the latest iteration. But on top of that, it's pretty damn lucky that all these levers and buttons and mechanisms, some a couple of hundred or even a thousand years old, all still work exactly like they're supposed to. No rust or rot in any of these dank tombs. And who, may I ask, keeps lighting all these fires? So what have we learned? <laughs> to be the best adventurer in the world, all you have to do is to be ridiculously fit, devastatingly rich, charming, intelligent, and have the luck of the Irish. Hey, I'm one step of the way there already. All right, Nathan, you can stop showing off now. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> you good? Yeah. <laughs> Bertie, you've played The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine, which sounds like a terrible version of a Cliff Richard Christmas song.